Okay guys, uh, welcome to this next tutorial series where we will create a pump shotgun from Fortnite and uh, basically uh, we will split the series into two main parts which is first one is modeling and retopologing I don't know how to say it uh, in Blender and then we will uh, trans transfer this model into substance painter where we will uh, texture it and uh, yeah I, I know that lots of you want to texture it in blender but it's very hard to, to texture it in, in blender and then transfer it to game engine because uh, when you use substance painter it's uh, yeah, it's a standard for um, in, in the game industry and it's it is very easy to use and very easy to export texture textures and to create them and in blender yeah, it, it, it's hard or actually it's it's easy if you want to make only the render in, in blender but if you want those texture to exist in in the game engine it's better you better to use substance painter because it, it looks a, a lot better but uh, if you want guys i i can probably make uh, uh, and painted textures of this model if you want but we will see and it, it won't look so nice okay so um for in this is uh, as always i have this introduction uh, part which is this one actually and uh in order to finish this tutorial series you should uh, know the basics of the blender so how to navigate uh, how to use some tools but still i will help you and uh, yeah you don't have to worry so now i will briefly uh, tell you how the curriculum looks like so in the first part we will start modeling the low poly model which is this one and as you can see, wait the guys a bit. Uh, yeah, low poly is quite easy. And uh, yeah, simply simple shapes and I will help you uh, to, to do it. And in the second, I, maybe I will split the, the modeling into a few parts because it can take a long, long time. Okay, so uh, after we finish uh, making the low poly version, we will start uh, making the high poly version, with, which is this one. And you can see it looks a lot smoother and uh, better. It doesn't have sharp edges, it has round smooth edges and this looks very nice compared to... Uh, show you to low poly this is low poly this is high poly yeah basically it, it just looks better and now uh, as you can see here we have some floating objects as you can see here and here and basically we will use them to bake the normal maps onto the low poly version and i will explain everything later so yeah this is a very common used technique that you don't have to actually model the, the indents into the model you just have to model the floating object of it and then we can bake the normal maps on onto the low poly version so this will be high poly version okay so uh, after we finish high poly we'll start uh, unwrapping it so as you can see here i i have everything unwrapped so if i go to uv editing you can see let me change i actually make the normal texture already but if we delete it for now you can see that this is very beautifully unwrapped but uh yeah, I will show you how to do it and uh, this is quite uh, time consuming so uh, this will take uh, I don't know 20 minutes maybe or more okay guys so uh, after we finish uh, retopology uh, unwrapping sorry 
uh, we don't have retopology in, in this tutorial series. I, I forgot to I forgot about it. So yeah, at the beginning I said retopology. We don't have retopology here. So it, it's very nice because uh, in this tutorial series we will basically uh, make a low poly version and then from the low poly version we will make high poly version. So this is now is a bit uh, inverse process. Because normally you make high poly and then you retopology, retopology it to the low poly version. Okay, so uh, the last thing. Uh, we will yeah, export it to Substance and I actually, uh, after I finished texturing, I exported everything to Blender and I made a yeah, small small scene uh, in EV so I can show, show you this. Okay, so let me see if I go to Layout and I unclicked Overlays, let's go to EV. Okay, so as you can see here is the the pump shotgun and yeah, it looks very nice for me, at least for me. And uh, I had uh, one problem uh, with the, I don't know how to say it, with this aimer, something baked there uh, wrong, but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know how to fix it, but don't worry about that. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. And also, I don't know what happened, but uh, when I textured it in uh, Substance Painter, everything was uh, straight. But when I exported to Unity, uh, yeah, it somehow bended. But uh, I have an uh, idea how why why it why it is like that, and uh, I will try to avoid this. So we will have straight lines. So this is the floating part that I talked about earlier that we will bake into so it looks like there's something but actually it is flat okay so uh, this will be it for the um, for the introduction or introduction video and I think it's quite long okay but never mind so uh, thank you guys and uh, see you in the, the next one which is modeling. Oh, bye.